that Paul guy. And today we're going to take a look at the Logitech G433 headset. Uh, it's a gaming headset. It's also for mobile. But I was just going to, you know, kind of show the box and, and give you guys a review and let you know what I thought about it, similar to I've done another headset recently. Uh, but what I found out when I went to go look in this box, this isn't just a box that it came in. This is a presentation piece. When I first opened it up, the first thing I thought was an onion. And everybody's going, an onion? What the hell is he talking about? An onion? Uh, simply because it's got layers, donkey. This thing has several different layers to it. Uh, the first one is the headset itself. So pulling it out, the one thing I noticed, there's no mic boom attached to it. And I thought, okay, it's probably in the cord. Uh, but there are two plugs in here that I noticed. So when I started doing a little bit more research and digging a little bit deeper, I found the next layer. The next layer has a box in it. That box then includes a removable boom. There is all the PC stuff in here you'll need, including a module that plugs into the USB to power separate uh, volume, base, and all that stuff. A uh, Y adapter and everything so you can plug it into separate in and out audio and uh, the cord to attach. So all that stuff is in one, in one bag. The other bag is the mobile bag as it appears to be. So that bag will have, um, it's got your just a straight cord that has the built-in mic into it, into that side. So it's got two different setups for that. So you can plug it into your PC and, and go full blown with you know, uh, surround the 7.1 surround sound, or you can just plug it into mobile and uh, or into your gaming console and go with it at that. So it's very versatile in that way. But that wasn't all that was in the box because the other thing in the box, a whole set of another set of ear pieces. So you've got two complete sets of ear pieces in here. Of course, it's got an instruction book as well, but two complete sets of ear pieces in here. You have two different setups for mobile or for PC gaming or some fashion in between where you've got game consoles and stuff like that. But that's not all, because underneath all of that was yet another layer. So I pulled that up. And the final layer of this is a carrying case for everything. So Logitech really outdid themselves on this one. And when I started looking at what the regular price was on it, it was $100, bucks, 99 dollars And I found it on sale for $50, uh, $49.99 at Micro Center. Uh, the blue ones were. The black ones and the red ones were a little bit higher priced, but they were on sale as well. But when I started looking in here and realizing just exactly what this is, it made me more and more impressed and made me really, really want to find out what it sounds like, both on the PC and the game systems. And I might even check it out to see what it kind of sounds like when I'm making phone calls. So the second part of this video will be letting you know that. Okay, after several days of playing with them and using them and trying them out on PC, as well as the game systems and for uh, a myriad of other things and, and a couple of different configurations and stuff like that. Um, I, I like them. There's some things I like about them and some things I don't. It took me a little bit just to get comfortable to, to try to make sure I had the right fit. And, but after I did, they're light enough where I almost forget they're, they're there, especially for playing for a couple of hours. Uh, they, they work pretty well. I mean, they, they fit come, after the initial part where we're trying to figure out a little bit uh, the right uh, the right sizing and everything. Oops. Um, I, I like the way they fit and they fit pretty well. They're comfortable and the earpieces fit directly over my ears and, and all that stuff. Um, a couple things that, that I, well, honestly, I still did like. The, the volume control and everything on the cord worked pretty well. The PC setup was phenomenal. The USB plugs into the PC, it recognizes it right away. Uh, I happen to have a Logitech mouse, so that app uh, recognized the headset configuration right away. The sound was amazing. Uh, 7.1 surround sound was great. Um, the, well, with only two speakers, it's hard to do that, but it's a simulated sound. There are 40 millimeter drivers in here, uh, which, I mean, they sounded really full, really rich, really, really good sound out of them. On the game console, uh, it was a good sound, but not as good, in my opinion, as another set of headset that I tested, the HyperX, uh, that I tested last week. Uh, I did think that those worked a little bit better. They were lighter weight, and I did, uh, quite honestly, like them better on the game system. Not that these aren't good. These are very good, but I think they excel on the PC. Um, they they do very very well, and one of the one of the other reasons why is the cord. Now it's a braided cord. It's a very good quality. It's not going to tear up. It's not cheap at all. It's, it's a, a very uh, well put together, very sturdy cord. 
um, but it is just the right length to get in your way on a gaming console. It plugs into the controller, and even though you can shorten it up a little bit with this little clip, this little slide clip type thing here, you can do that and shorten it some, but still it is just long enough to cause you a little bit of problems, but not quite long enough to get completely out of your way on the PC. So depending on where you have your PC, whether it's above or below your desk or whatever, you might have to play around with it or play around with the length a little bit. Um, but that was really the only drawback that I found. And if not for that, I mean, the sound and everything was really good. Um, I was very happy with it. It was just the length of the cord that got in my way. I noticed several times that it just it, it got in my way is the only way I could really, really describe it. So uh, I did like the HyperX, the length of that cord much better when it came to the console gaming. Uh, both headsets sounded great, but like I said, where these excelled, absolutely excelled, was on the PC, especially with a USB module that allowed it to be the simulated surround sound. Um, overall, for the $100, I think it was a, it's a pretty good buy for the $100 retail price, um, especially if you're a PC gamer. I think it is a great buy for the $50. And if you can find these for $50 or even $60, bucks, um, if you find these on sale, do that. Like I said, it's got a detachable, the boom's detachable, so the mic comes off and plugs right back in. The cords come out, plug right back in. Uh, it's got two different cords with it. Uh, it's really, really um, an excellent piece of gaming equipment, and I'm very, very satisfied with it. So I'm a little bit torn sometimes uh, on which headset to use. I think I'm going to end up using these for the PC uh, quite quite handily and quite quite a bit, and I'll probably use the other ones, the, uh, the HyperX uh, cloud stingers that I bought and did a review on. Uh, I think I'll end up using those on the game system. So, um, but 100% recommend, especially if you can get them on sale like that. Absolute. It's a it's a great deal, and I would I would snatch it up. I would go ahead and grab it. Um, so that's all I got. If you guys uh, if you have any, you guys have anything that you you know comments or anything like that, feel free to leave them. Thumbs up, thumbs down. If you have anything else you want me to take a look at a review or try to find the answers to questions on or something like that, let me know that as well. I'll be glad to do that. So uh, for these, like I said, uh, great great quality on the PC, very good quality on on the game consoles, phone quality and everything. I mean they they sound very very good. The one area that these do excel though is in PC gaming. So that's all I got for this one folks. Until next time I'll see you later.